Hey everyone, Harry here to talk about the Georgia Election Board, or rather three hand-picked Trump members of the Georgia Election Board who are on an absolute campaign to muck up the Georgia election code and procedures in a way to advantage Trump and make it harder for likely opponents of his to vote. They have already, as you know, put into place a highly dubious rule giving extra discretion to individual counties to hold things up and question the votes. The latest is they have now, by the same three to two vote, imposed a requirement that each county hand count the number of votes that were voted in the on, on election day. Point one about this proposal, it's almost certainly illegal. The board can only act based on powers that it has from the legislature, and the legislature is the organic body that decides certain changes. They haven't done so, and don't take my word for it, and these three Trumpies shouldn't, don't need to take anyone's word for it because they've been deluged with uh, opinions, including from the Secretary of State, telling them this is unlawful, this will uh, violate the basic allocation of power and the, the power that you have. Second, so first, it's all, oh, the second reason that it's unlawful is we are 46 days from the election. The poll workers and people who are going to, going to count, uh, not count ballots and vary, but, but just because that's not part of their role, but oversee them have already been trained. It's a total mess and a train wreck. And for that reason, it's also unlawful to make this sort of change under the so-called Purcell rule and then, which is an overall doctrine of not uh, doing things too close to an election. So unlawful too. Te it's a terrible idea and it's designed to just make mischief. So what's supposed to happen on election day first? They're supposed to open the ballots instead of keeping them sealed and count the number, not, not who voted for, but count the number of them. Once that seal has been broken, the, the possibility for lost ballots, for fraud, uh, for all kinds of questions to arise, uh, just proliferate. It's an absolute, you could say, Pandora's box once they open it. It will take hours and hours. There's a little dispute about this, about whether it would be three or four or more. And of course, that was the same idea that lies behind the extra discretion to certain county officials. You just can, can gum up the works or stall, and that keeps the whole state from reporting. Now, we're talking about three absolute, um, you know, no holds barred partisans of Trump who have been doing things like this and they still have more proposals to consider. The main, uh, person, one of the, this, this is who Trump extolled as my bulldogs or something like that. You know, the, basically his guardians on the, uh, election board. Before they voted for this rule, there's a meeting at which the, the, everybody in the audience was, you guys gotta be kidding us. This is a terrible idea. We're gonna look. Like it's gonna, it's an absolute recipe for chaos. That seems to be, um, the reason that and favoring, uh, Donald Trump. And you're gonna make us, you know, look like the absolute sort of eyesore and laughing stock of the country that's gonna, you know, make this just a mess and sort of ground zero of, of the mess that Trump wants to create come election day. And you had the three Trump officials, say, I don't know possibly what you mean about we're just trying to take the process and improve it a little. Indeed, there's really basically nothing that's even put, put forward about what it's going to improve for humans to take the box, open them and count the ballots. And by the way, if you do it more than once, you're certainly you're, you're quite likely, uh, as a matter of just human error to get different numbers, start again. Things are, are really, um, yeah, hugely chaotic. But of course, 
That is exactly the idea. So this is going to be challenged right away uh, in court uh, on the both both that they don't have the authority and we are too close to the election to uh, do it. And of course, you know how it the, the same people, broadly speaking, you know the Trump forces who are behind seeding the uh, board of elections with three um, loyalists. Who knows where, as this goes through the courts, where they'll encounter Trump loyalists as well. But it's very notable. Georgia is one of the few states where the Republican Party is truly divided between Trump uh, forces and and non-Trump Republicans and the really forceful uh, outpouring of people who both Republicans, including government officials like the Secretary of State and just scholar after scholar saying this is a not just an unlawful, but a ridiculous idea that is going to breed chaos come election day uh, is, you know, there's just one after the other. And there's it's really a, seems no way to rationalize it other than a naked move to try to just not, not even give Trump votes because it's counting after, but just inject chaos into the um, whole process. And, you know, recall chaos is Trump's friend, as he said, in the aftermath or leading up to January 6th, just just stall things. And this was with respect to Georgia itself, by the way, and I'll let my allies in Congress do the rest. If they lose the state or it's close, that'll, that'll be the strategy to try to inject chaos. And it's starting right here and now with the uh, three but the bare majority, the, the other two, of course, not only voted against it, but voted stridently against it and criticized it. But the three rammed it through, and they are uh, possibly going to do more of the same when they reconvene next Monday. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.